Hi everybody, it's Julie. Today we are going to be putting our items in our journal. I'm going to show you what I made and then we have our mini challenge in the challenge. Let's get to it. And so starting with our lace cards. Okay, so um, you had to go through some of the parts of the lace and you had to ha make a lace card. And so I made mine so that they're in clear pockets. And we'll be putting all of these into the journal as soon as I make the house and the yo-yos. Okay, and then this is the other one. I still need to cover this, um, but that was packaging I had. There's a large black card back here. I probably should back that with something so that you would be able to, um, to write on there. Okay, so um, my four round embellishments, and I I made those. Okay, so there's those, and then our what did we call this? This was a paper cup pocket with insert. Okay, so we have a paper cup pocket with an insert. Here's the little paper cup, and it's got two places and a place there for you to put things. I think that's like so cool. So paper cup pocket. Next we have our top tuck with upside down tag. So we have a tag upside down and our top tuck. These are all ready to go into the journal. Next we have our lunch box um, with two inserts. It's a lunch box pocket. And my idea for this was that it would be a flip up, flip down. Mine has some lined paper in it and then you have two inserts that can go in the pocket. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And I guess I have an extra tag. I don't know if I made it on the same day or what the deal was, but there's an extra tag in here. Next was the planned master board. And so you were to take a page of scrapbook paper that you actually wanted to keep part of it and make your master board on the rest and then we cut it out into pieces and this is what I got for mine. Okay, next we did our quilted pieces and we have a quilted tag. Now I chose to do mine with um, a quilted look. So this is quilted piece and um, with no stitching because I have people that don't have machines or are not able to do it with their hands. So. Um, yeah, so here we have a pocket. This one we did with fabric tack and we actually did quilt it with fabric tack and then we collaged over in the corner and then we have a flip and this one we considered that an applique, so a quilted applique and up here done with fabric tack and this will go in the journal and it is a flip. So that was our quilted pieces. Next we have our blackboard belly band. So the idea was to make a belly band that looked like a blackboard. And so I added this. I did some paint on here. I added a little piece of chalk and made it like the monkey was grabbing for the chalk. And so there you go. Okay, and then we have um, the insert okay and we did a little collage up here we bumped this up on um, some pa uh, book page because it just kind of looked like a single it needed something and then we added our giraffe on the back here okay um, next we have 
our triangle double tuck with triangle double tuck with inserts okay so we have our triangle double tuck okay so triangle double tuck is you have one two so double tuck one two and it has inserts now on mine I went ahead this one has a place for journaling here and I made another little journaling card here that goes in here and it has the fun zebra print coming out of it I love it that was that and then these were extra so I made these two little little pieces extra out of what was left of the six by six paper and so there's that one here is my xylophone diagonal belly band okay so the xylophone will fit in the journal and on mine I went ahead and made it so that it opens up so the belly band will be on the paper and this will be able to open like that okay love it next um, you just saw these we did the paper clip so this is a hidden paper clip you go ahead put your paper in there and from both sides of the paper you're going to have a decoration the same with this one only this one goes in from the side and then we have a round one and this one has the large clip on the back so there you go three altered paper clips next we have our 18 inch snippet so it needs to be 18 inches or more and i made that the same day as i made the next little goodie which is our window specimen cards okay so our window specimen cards we needed to make two of them they have a window they have a specimen inside of it we've got a dandelion here and we've got hair of the dog here but we're pretending like it's tiger hair and so those are the I the elements the items that I made um, and let's see there might be oh we've got our tassel so our jingle jingly jingly tassel Okay, so there we made that I have my cover and then here I have I don't know what this was for but we have it oh it was the page that we needed to make using um, either jelly print or potato print or some kind of print and I did celery okay so let's see what else do we have in here that might have already gotten put in here okay this is our double tuck okay so there's the envelope it's going to have those and my two inserts I have this card here so this is our dictionary double tuck and so I used a dictionary paper to make it and that is my other card okay that's the dictionary double tuck that we had to make remember we made a through Z we made things for this journal okay so this is the bank envelope and I chose to make a dad's bank envelope okay and then on the inside we have oh an accordion pocket and we have this here and this here this is our inside outside accordion pocket okay so it goes this way and it goes this way okay inside outside accordion pocket it goes both directions inside outside accordion pocket that's what that was okay there we go I'm just gonna tie it lightly we've got inserts all over the place in there
Oh, here's our Viewmaster. There we go. Here is our one, two, three pockets. So you've got one, a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. So our one, two, three pocket, and I'm gonna have to figure out what insert goes there. I don't, I don't remember right offhand. Our zipper pocket and insert okay so and we did let you make a bunch of inserts as long as they had the four items on them and then you were able to go ahead and put them in and I had done that in one video and then with the plan to use some of those in some of the things that might be missing a an addition um, these were not part of anything but I did add these to the signature ties. This is my spine. There is my jingle jangle tassel with our monkey and our zebra and our panda and our really noisy big button. I love the sound of all that. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the things in it. Okay. So this is going to want to fit on a side page and what I was thinking was possibly it could go here okay it's not going to cover anything up so that that might be a good place for it it's got lace hanging off the edge so um doesn't fit there but what I was thinking there's some there's a few pages where the tiger like half of his body is hanging off the page and it's of course you know something like that might be good like that might that might work okay but we do have kind of the same thing here so probably not okay here we have oh oh darn that would have been good okay because you still would have seen the um the snake okay There we go. Okay, um, if I close this, how far out does the lace stick? Hmm, it's pretty sticky. But, let's see, if we bring it down. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the bottom edge of this to be able to put it in here. I might be multitasking. I might be um, shopping <laughs> while I'm making this video. Okay, we're gonna put this on this page and hold it down. So, um, let's make sure that we're down and that we didn't get caught. Okay. Okay. I don't know where I put the other thing that's supposed to go in there. But that that will go over. So here is another page that with a tiger that I might want to put something on and I'm thinking maybe the quilted pocket okay so the quilted pocket <laughs> the tail will come up out of it but that'll be funny okay so we're going to use our fabric tack this time to put this down we have a variety of glue Okay, so we'll put 
put him down. And he is going to have the tiger is hiding in the pocket. Okay. So eventually we'll have to come back and give that page something else. But I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, we do have okay our xylophone. Our xylophone that's going to go... Let's put that right here. Okay. Now, the way that it gets put down is on this piece. Okay, it's gonna get put down on this piece and this piece. I'll go ahead and put it down put it down it just it needs to be on the diagonal your belly band does and this might be a good place to bring in a paper clip and I'm thinking maybe the giraffe paper clip because it will come in from the side okay giraffe paper clip from the side and that will hold that down now um, we need an insert and what if we go with, well, this one would be good, except for I don't think you're going to see it on the bottom. That one you won't see. Let's put this adorable monkey in there. Okay. So there's that side and then we can put something on this side. Let's just put that right in there. Okay, so there we go. Okay, let's make sure that that is holding down. Okay. Okay, so going in another large item that we have to, to put in is our blackboard belly band. And okay. I mean, it can stick, it's okay for it to stick off the edge. What do you think? Got that. That's what you're going to see from the bottom of it, from the back of it. I kind of like that. Oh, I don't want to don't want to cover up a page that could be writing page oh now this this might be good okay let's see what this is gonna look like when this is closed okay yeah it doesn't come out okay I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and where was that <laughs> here it'll cover up this you still can write here and here and let's go ahead, we'll take this off. Okay. So, I wanna make sure this sticks. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. And we'll come and put it on this edge. Okay, put it in, there we go. Hopefully this will fit. 
it's not dry yet. Okay, well, we'll put it in here and come back to that. Okay. Um, another big thing that we have is our um, top tuck with a bottom and let's see. go there but I'm thinking you know with that this page because you could still write down here what do you think I think that'll be a good one I did. You guys, do you see what I did? I just closed this like a pocket. So I've got to get this glue off of here. Or you know what's going to be easier is to put a row of a stripe, a strip of paper, which of course the strips of paper I just used in something else. They were all right here. Lots of strips of paper, and I use them. Um, hmm. Aha, strip of paper. Here we go. So if you mess up, you can go ahead and glue a strip of paper, and then put your glue on where it's supposed to be, which is why I usually put my hand over where I don't want to glue. Okay. Okay, so this is going up at the top. This is our top tuck with upside down cart tag. Okay, top tuck, upside down tag. Top tuck with upside down tag. I love it. Okay, we have our fabric flip. Now, when I do a fabric flip, I usually like to put something under it. Um, we're going to start by putting the fabric flip down and we'll come back and add the stack stack a note okay I added a paper clip here I was not able to find the paper that goes here but we'll, I'll come back and do that later so next I've pulled out the snippet and I'm gonna go ahead and add a piece of the snippet down here I think that that is going to be a great place for something and a great way to use a piece of the snippet I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this a little different okay I am gonna go across the bottom of the lace okay but over here I'm going to um, split split this and the reason I'm gonna do this is I'm hoping that that will um, help this hold tighter okay hold whatever I put in there tighter okay so there and there that gives me a place for a small tag and something a little bit bigger okay I love it I love it I love it okay so we'll go ahead and move on I have a double tuck here that is going to need something but I'm also thinking that it might be kind of a fun place 
to go ahead and come across with the, oh you know what we've okay we can just use a piece of snippet okay what if we just use a piece of snippet here on this edge okay so I'm gonna pull that down and I'm gonna pull this one down and I'm gonna cut it so that the leaf will go on something else but I can use this like it's a cluster right on top of my double tuck spot okay I think that that's gonna be a great way to use a piece of my snippet okay there we go so right over the envelope flat of the double tuck remember this is a place that I can add um, cards that that we've made okay both of these are too big but um, yeah that gives you an idea here we go we've got this one that might be kind of fun yeah I think we'll put that one there for right now with this one behind it okay and then we'll we'll see if we find one another okay so in our package we have the lace cards and you know I don't have anything on the front and I almost would like to put the lace card except that we do that right after it so let's find let's find a spot okay we can um, we can write on journal on that page so I don't want to use that too big you could also put things like this on a flip flap and this could be the flap the flip the flip flop flap oh let's see are we ready can we put that inside okay I'm really tr trying to leave the clear pages as much as I can for them to be um, something else. Now, this might be a good thing for here, okay? Because um, to cover that brad. So I'm gonna do that. I just think that that will be a good way to cover the brad. There we go. We got this piece. We'll put this piece down. <laughs> okay, so this is double sided tape. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, oh, this is going to be cool. Okay, so we'll just take that and put that on this page. Okay, so that's my lacing card. We made two of those, so there's one. I like it. You know what? I have I have this page. I want to when as we're going through, I want to put it in somewhere. Um let's see. Okay, another thing that we have is the lunchbox uh, pocket.
I put it on the page with the page with page of pockets. Ooh, how about on the back? I like that idea. We'll get, we're going to go there. Okay, look at here. Glue, glue, glue. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. We're going paper to paper, just plain regular paper to paper, so I can just use this, this glue here. I'm going to go as close as I can over to this edge and then I do need to to close this with this. Tom came in. He's playing radio. Um, how are we doing as far as oh, we still, we're still good. We're still good. I'll probably put the hitch post fastener on this. Do we have a pocket that needs a tag? Like right there. Pocket needs a tag. Like it. Okay, we've got our paper cup and our giraffe. Now we had a giraffe right there, so let's go all the way back here and find a spot for our giraffe. And I think he's gonna go right here on our tiger. <laughs> and we're gonna close him off. I don't think he needs to be another pocket. There we go. We'll just, he's paper to paper, so we're just going to hold it down. <laughs> so I stamped here and I drew some birds right there. And we have the um, definition of a giraffe on there. Okay, so we have another one of these. This one's much bigger. Well, we lost quite a bit of what we had, what we were doing. So I'll go back and show you that later. But we're going to go ahead and add a snippet right here and cover over Mowgli. And I'm just deciding which piece is going to work better. I think we'll go with this one because we can go ahead and snip it right here. And <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that. We'll use fabric tack and we'll make it a top tuck. Okay. We'll put that up there. We're covering over his body on the tree. And of course, we're going to have to come in and, and I've used pretty much everything. So we're going to have to make some more things to come in and add. But this could be an embellishment all by itself right there. I do have one more piece of snippet. So let's kind of look and see where we might be able to use. So um, could use a snippet here. Of course, it's a small one. So maybe, maybe on a smaller piece. Where's the other side of that tiger? Okay. So could go there but I think we have some places where we have like nothing <laughs> okay like in the center here it seems to me like there's pieces where you go a long ways where there's, there's nothing okay we need to I'm thinking right like right there 
that will be perfect. Okay, we'll do a belly band. Right there. Belly band, right there. Okay, so this has everything added except the charms and the glue pieces, the yo-yos and the house pieces. That's all that is left to add into this journal. Um, but as you can see, I, I need, I'm going to need some more, some more things. So I will be going ahead and making some more things that can go in here. Did we close that shut? Just about. Okay, that goes right in there. Okay, so let's have a look. So we still need something for the cover, inside cover, and the pocket over here, or in the, the front. We have this. Might want to add something here and here. Okay. We did our flip, added our that. We added snippet here, added this here, used the round paper clip. This is our double tuck. Added some snippet here. And still need a card for there. You can see so many pages that um, you're going to be able to write on. <laughs> and that I can still add things to. But I do want to make things for all the pockets. So, um, and then I'm going to want to do something in here because there's, there's nothing happening. A lot of pages right in there with nothing nothing going on. So Okay, so here we did the xylophone with the monkey and that. Another pocket. This needs something. We did put the masterboard piece in here. Added one of the rounds here. You saw we just did that. We added those there. We have space for something there. Large paper clip. We have a spot for something there. Our one, two, three pocket. Here we have our lunchbox with two inserts. And we just added that snippet right there. We have that beautiful tag. We open this, we've got part of the master board in there. We have a little monkey guy in there. And our zipper pocket. Has an insert and our back has back pocket has one of the lace cards. Okay, so how are we as far as being filled? We're good, we're in a good spot. Okay, so I need to make some cards. That's what we've got going on, that's what we're gonna have to do. Okay, so. Let's do that. Buddy had told us that if you reheat the glue from the glue gun, that it will um, make your your um, <laughs> it will make it less milky, and it seems to be working. So we're gonna go ahead. Let's start with our buffalo here.
So we're going to go ahead and reheat it. Then you don't want to touch the glue after you reheat it. So we're going to reheat it and I'm going to move on to the zebra, which he's not too bad. He actually looks really good. But the hippo, the hippo was not clear at all. Or is this the rhinoceros? This is the hippo. Okay, so we're going to heat him up. Let him cool. Our crocodile was pretty good, but our rhinoceros, he was a little milky. It definitely clears up so you can see it right now clearer. So we'll see. Okay. Okay. So these were my... Um, some of the glue seals okay these are the ones that i actually used as my um tchotchke charms and so this one these were done with the fabric tack and they bubbled but i have a key and i have a shell as something that was found in a child's pocket and then I did these and they are backed with paper so I can just put them into, they're um, made with a one inch circle punch, then I put the glue on it, then I put the sticker, then I put more glue and then I um, stamped it down and so though there's those and then i also made these other charms so i have the little tiger here there's full videos of me making all of these okay so those have glossy accents on them let's go ahead and oh they're still they're still damp okay we're gonna go ahead and Okay. Okay, so there's that. There's that. We're going to put these over in their piles. Okay? Okay, so what else did we make? Now, I have my extras here. And I've made some of these during videos. Some of them I made while I was watching other videos. But this gives me some extra things that I can use in the journal. Um, like, like these were made during a video. They were extras. That's extra. And then I made these. Also, I don't know if they're gonna go in or not, but we'll see. And today we have our mini challenge in the challenge. And it's a fun one. We're just gonna have a play as Joy would say, and we are going to make ephemera. Whatever we want to make, with whatever we want to make, I'm sticking to things that I had left over and that are just right around my desk. I'm going to make several tags and journal cards and other ephemera to use in my challenge journal this time. Remember with the mini challenge in the challenge, you can make your projects for any projects that you have coming up to add to your stash, to send out in happy mail, whatever you want to do. And I have a special gift for someone that comes back and comments in this video and completes the mini challenge in the challenge 8.4 so make sure you come back and comment and you have a play i'm say i'm gonna say at least an hour go ahead put your camera or your phone on time lapse and you don't have to talk or anything just show us what you made that's an extra um That'll be an extra thing. So I'll have two things. One for those that share the time lapse of their hour or more that they spend just having a play. 
and making ephemera for upcoming projects. So our mini challenge in the challenge, spend an hour or more and just have a play. And then show us um, in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group what you made in the event. So I'm gonna show you some more. Can you see that Kleenex box on my desk? Watch what I make using that Kleenex box. I love it. This is what I made out of the tissue box. This one opens, has more journaling space. Oh, little. The lion. Rhinoceros. Zebra. Adventure. So rhinoceros, lion, hippopotamus, and explore. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six journal cards made out of that tissue box. And Dollar Tree gen Dollar Tree rub-ons and these background pages and then items from around the desk and the little glue seals that we made so there we go I think that's pretty cool six ready for the um, the book and then also this one that I made as well and we'll keep going Hi everybody, it's Julie. I just had a play day where I made, I just made a bunch of tags and things because I have the Jungle Book Journal which has all of my elements in it and, except for the yo-yos and the houses, okay? And, um, and I just found my clusters which I had not put in there yet. But I still had a lot of places that needed things. So I went ahead and while I was watching Spectrum Art Creations sale, I went ahead and I have made a bunch of tags and little journal cards and things. And so here we go. I did a file card and with some embellishments, I was just trying to use up the scraps that were here on my desk. I just finished, so the, the glue is still on my hands. A little notebook using a flinch card from the flinch card digital from dear Julie Julie I made this um, fabric tag with the monkeys up here we have this tag it is three papers um, stacked up with the elephant and some six by six paper you're gonna see I've used the rub-ons all through here and the zebra fabric I used it there's the monkeys and there is that card. And then I used all of the animals on a card. I had an ABC Project Life card. I thought that would be fun. Another flinch card. This one opens up and you can write inside. These cards right here, they came from the welcome gift for the Patreons um, for the newest, the newest members this month. Um, when they were added we went ahead and I did it in green so they have the welcome gift in green so 
I used that digital from the Patreon. Okay, so that's what these are. All of these cards are from that. And so just a variety, again, using the napkin and all of the things that are on the desk. Here I used a bag that was on the desk and a tag that was on the desk. And just um, and the other side has the napkin and this butterfly. I did these two tags. And I did a couple of large tags. This one has vellum, the big giraffe. Okay, and then this is all from a Kleenex box. So these are all the side pieces of the Kleenex box. And our, the little goal, glue, uh, blah, glue seals that we made for this challenge. So that was all from the Kleenex box. We got six things from the Kleenex box and then a variety of other tags and things. It was a lot of fun to just go ahead and play and just use items on my desk. Um, some of these things can still, depending on where they're going to go, they can still get a, a tag, a, you know, a little topper either here or here to pull it. And so, but some of them already have them and are ready to go inside. So these were all, all my digitals were printed from the, either from that thank you gift from, for the Patreons or the flinch card kit, or the zoo animal kit, okay? So, there you go. So, that's what we did today. What I, I just kept playing and playing, and I ended up with all of this. I am so excited to have items to be able to put into the little golden book as well as remember during the VIP I I made this this little journal and so I wanted to have things to go in there so that both of these can be added to the shop and um, they will be for sale hopefully on September 1st so watch for those find something to celebrate every day have an amazing day I'll see you tomorrow Bye. Bye-bye.